This is lesson number 14 of the English Phrasal Verb course. And in this lesson, we're going to continue talking about the phrasal verb back up. Now, this lesson is actually going to cover two of the different uses. It's the same motion that it's expressing, but it needs to be explained a little bit differently whether you're talking about a person that is moving backwards or if it's a vehicle moving backwards. So this is kind of like two lessons in one. So the phrasal verb back up in this context can be separable and uh, what it'll mean for a vehicle, it will be a reversing vehicle. In other words, the vehicle will be moving backwards or backing up. And used to talk about a person, we don't typically say that a person is reversing. We would have to say that that person is moving backwards. So let's give you a few examples. Example one, every day I back up the car from the driveway. Every day I back the car up from the driveway. Every day I reverse the car from the driveway. So another example, now we're going to be talking about people. Example two, the customer accidentally backed up into the waitress and spilled the drinks. The customer accidentally moved backwards into the waitress and spilled the drinks. So those are the last two uses for the phrasal verb to back up and hopefully you understand the difference between all of these uses of this very common English phrasal verb.